President William Ruto has moved to heavily arm the Kenya Revenue Authority KRA ahead of what is shaping up to be a year where employees and firms will be heavily taxed the most with the room with little room for appeal despite the soft stance promises on taxation he made when looking for votes last year. The proposals in the 2023 finance bill, some of which were rejected by previous parliaments, paint a picture of a government that is keen on giving its revenue authorities stronger teeth to bite while making it expensive to appeal tax demands in the event of a dispute. The amendments to the Tax Tribunal Act and the Tax Procedures Act will also grant more power to the KRA Commissioner General to go after tax cheats and the people who don't even pay tax themselves while taking away its powers to abandon taxes. For instance, the bill proposes to repeal provisions in the TPA which allow relief bonuses and doubts and benefits of doubt or difficulty in the recovery of tax on the part of KRA. At, at the same time, the proposed changes obligate taxpayers to deposit with the commissioner 20% of the disputed tax before the filing of the appeal to the high court. Ironically, KRA has not been spared from this condition should it appeal against the decision of the tax tribunal. Additionally, proposed changes seek to widen the scope of the Commissioner General to amend tax assessments from current rules where amendments are limited to the original assessment. Do you think that Kenyans are going to be able to afford the current lifestyle where we are seeing the president is hiking more tax on certain goods?